Hello and uh, welcome to the Straw Bike Workshop. My name's Carl and uh, in the workshop today we've got a little bit of a follow-up video to one I did a few weeks back where I reviewed the Makita circular saw guide rail and guide rail adapter. Now one of the things that I've found over the last couple of weeks is that the 1400mm guide rail from Makita is just a little bit too long in uh, situations where you want to cut across a piece of uh, piece of um, sheet material and uh, I could do with uh, a shorter guide rail and um, anyway Makita don't do a guide rail that's shorter than 1400 millimeters now obviously if you do know of one um, you know, comment below anyway so in this video uh, we're going to be making one and uh, we're going to be taking a 1400 millimeter guide rail and cutting it into two pieces. I know that sounds quite mad but I'll explain why now. Okay so looking into this um, what I found was that um, Festool they do a 800 millimeter short guide rail and in the UK the cheapest price I could find was on Amazon actually and it was 55 pounds. Um, now the um, Makita guide rail, the Festool um, guide rails, they are compatible with other brands as well and another UK brand um, is Triton they do a 2 by 700 millimeter rail system with connector and that comes in in the UK again cheapest I could find was on Amazon and that was £60 and obviously if you've got Amazon Prime that includes delivery now I found Makita guide rails actually surprisingly cheap to to buy the 1400 millimeter guide rail was um, actually only 50 quid um, and the connector pack. Um, uh, mostly I found around about £14 um, but I did manage to find one seller selling the connector pack for £8 so that's £58 all in. And the one thing to remember about the Mikita guide rail um, and this is going to be particularly appropriate for my circular saw is that it has the uh, anti-tilt, uh, anti-tip feature on the back of the rail. So I think this actually is a pretty good price and uh, one of the things that I can do, let's just get rid of that, is um, decide for myself what size rails I want. So essentially what I've done is I've decided to cut this into two halves uh, where one half is 800 millimeters and the other half 600 millimeters and that's what I'm going to do now. I have the guide rail set up now on my Evolution um, miter saw. I'm going to take it really slowly, I'll have dust collection on and um, I've got the workpiece clamped down. So there we go, we have uh, two short pieces of guide rail, one 600mm long, one 800mm long. And what's really very nice about the uh, Evolution saw is actually it gives you a really clean finish, that really isn't sharp at all and we'll just need a little bit of sanding on the back edge and then we're done. So there we go.
Yeah. I think two shorter rails for my Mikita circular saw is going to be a great bonus uh, to this little system. And um, if you like the video, please give it a thumbs up. Uh, and if you haven't subscribed already, I'd invite you to do so. Anyway, from the workshop, for now, cheerio.